Battle Met Adventures, and welcome to Mage Productions. Today we're doing another tutorial. I'm going to be doing a wet blending tutorial with this miniature from Privateer Press. I don't recall what his name is. Um, yeah, he's super cool though, but we're going to work on this part right here. And do a little wet blending for you guys. So, I have one brush. This is the Army Painter uh, Wargamer Small Dry Brush. It's super old and well-worn, and don't judge me for that. Colors. Scale color. I have this blue, the SC-15. I also have a dark gray, SC-16. And an off-white, SC-09. All right. So to start off with, I think I'm going to go from gray to blue up at the top and work my way up. So let's get the gray, shake it up real good, and put it on my wet palette here. This is the red grass wet palette. Get some down there. Now you don't have to use a wet palette to do this, but I find it a lot easier just in general. All right, so we're gonna load up the brush and we're gonna paint up, paint up, get all those little grooves. And we're gonna go about halfway up. All the way around, under bits, inside bits and all that jazz. So now that we have a decent layer on there, I'm going to wash out my brush. And I don't want to let it dry too much. Because we want to keep it somewhat wet. So now I'm going to take my blue, put some on the wet palette, dry off my brush a bit, and do the same. Start here. We're going to go down, and I don't want to quite get into the gray yet, or I can help it. Because I want to make sure that the top parts stay super blue. I'm not worried about overpainting at this point. Get some more on my brush. Pat down this part right here. Just poking at it like a stipple brush. All right. Now with both of these layers still wet, I'm going to clean off my brush a bit. And I'm going to poke at the wet spots to get those colors to mix. So it gives it a nice fade. Now I would rather have more blue than gray, so I'm going to try to blend it down a bit instead of blending up, because when we blend up, you can see how there's more gray up here up at the top. And I would like more blue at the top than gray. You can fill in those spots that you may have missed. And just go all the way around. Now, I would like more blue up here at the top. So I'm going to get some more blue on my brush and just lightly pull it down. Ever so slightly. Kind of hit those top parts with the brush. Very gentle. Could get some of these points down at the bottom too. Kind of looks like fire. All right, and then we're going to let that dry, and then we'll go in for some little more blending. Okay, so now he's mostly dry. See, there's still a little bit wet spots here and there. You can kind of tap them to 
distribute that paint a little bit more. Get it a little bit more. Get it to dry a little bit faster. Yeah. All right. So now I want to go in with some highlights. So I'm going to take our white here. Just get a little bit on the palette. All right. So I'm going to take some of this white and put it in the blue just a bit. Get a little more blue on there. There we go. And now I'm going to do a dry brush. So I'm going to try to get some of this excess paint off. That looks good. All right. And I'm going to go in from the top and work my way down. And I don't want to go too far into the gray because it'd look a little strange. Just work it down just a little bit, little bits at a time. Working with scale color, I've noticed that if you don't um, what's the word if you don't add like a, a base coat to it I don't know why I can't think of the word um, it doesn't really like that too much and it will wear down so when doing dry brushing on scale color just try to be a little cognizant of that and careful all right so that's looking pretty good now i'm going to go with almost straight white and hit the these very top bits with the dry brush just to get some light on it All right, now I'm going to get some blue, and I'm going to work my way down into the gray, just very lightly. Just to try to make that color pop a little bit more. leave the dark bits dark and leave those shadows in there all right there we go it's not as hard as it looks as long as everything stays wet um, when blending the two it works out pretty well hope this was helpful for you guys um, if there's anything special you would like to see just let me know and we'll do that all right thanks